within the dike on the other side. There are three gaps cut into the south side dike to allow floodwaters from the south to flow into the floodway. Each gap is at a different height corresponding to the flood levels of the 1996-1997 and a 1 in 700 year flood. P. Emerson line. This is this bridge. Goods move in and out of the city of Winnipeg in many ways. One is by rail. This bridge is the Canadian Pacific line to Emerson. Watch your head. This is one of 11 bridges you will duck under along the trail. A few words of caution about bridges. Only cross under the bridge if there's no water near the trail. Seine River Siphon. There are many different things that have to cross the Red River floodway to go into the city. Each crossing has to be individually designed. Here, the Seine River needed to cross the floodway to flow north, eventually emptying into the Red River in St. Boniface. How would you make a river cross another river? It is a unique bit of engineering. The river actually goes under the floodway. Can you see the four culverts? Four culverts across the channel. One on the other side of the in, on the other side of the embankment. There is a concrete inlet. The Seine River flows into the inlet and through a 1.2 meter, 3.9 foot pipe under the floodway. It's higher on the south side than on than this side, so gravity pushes the water forward, fish and all. It flows under the floodway, coming out the other side of the east dike behind you. Then it continues along its course into the city. Time to do a little bushwhacking. <laughs> 